Hey guys, Dr. Josh Axe here with Dr. Lee Aaron Keneally. We're so excited to be here with you today. And Dr. Lee Aaron is an expert when it comes to fighting cancer naturally. In fact, she has a great book as well on how to break through cancer we'll talk about here at the end. But we're gonna go through in 10 minutes, 10 ways to take 10 years off your life. And also we wanna give you guys a shout out. I've got my uh, Facebook Live app pulled up here. Let me know right now the city you're from, the state you're from, the country you're from. We'd love to say hey to all of you that are watching. And Dr. Uh, Learen here, she's from Southern California, Orange County. We're here in Nashville right now. But again, we also want to know where you're from and give all of you guys a shout out before we jump in. All right, so we got Cindy Beamer. Oh, let me turn my volume down here. We got Cindy Beamer watching from, uh, looks like, uh, Powell, uh, Wyoming. We've got Dina Martin watching from Waco, Kentucky. We've got DJ Royals watching from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We've got Danielle Sarno watching from San Diego here as well. Marduri Megan from Columbus, Georgia. And Stacy Gray from Oregon. And David Johnson from Orange Park, Florida. David, hey, thanks for joining us here today. So we're going to be talking about 10 ways to take 10 years off your life. And Dr. Uh, Learen, I know that you've practiced integrative medicine for how long? Probably about as long as I've been practicing medicine, for about 30 years. So I started out 30 years ago, and I already kind of, because I grew up in Texas, and my mother was like fanatic about how we ate and how yeah. we lived, and not about using medications or anything. So I already kind of had a bent. But then when I started practicing medicine, patients would ask me like, okay, Dr. Lee, do you know about this? Do you know about this? Do you know? Well, then that led to an odyssey of exploration of all kinds of things and how we can take care of patients without hurting them. Yeah, and you know, I'm a huge fan. Obviously, that's the way I've practiced is integrative medicine. And we'd love to hear from you right now as well. If you've ever been under the care of an integrative medical doctor or a holistic doctor of functional medicine, a doctor that practices you know, these nutrition and natural treatments and supplementation, we'd love to hear from you. In fact, maybe give your doctor a shout out right now on Facebook Live as well. And myself and Dr. Lee Aaron are going to jump into 10 ways to take 10 years off your life. And uh, I'm always fascinated when I see somebody who is in their 80s, but they look like they're in their 50s or on the other end, I've seen people in their 30s or 40s who look like they're 80. So we're going to talk about how to look like the um, you know, the person who is older but uh, is actually looking much younger. So number one here, talk about positive mental attitude. PMA. We can all start doing that, embracing that, and living it. Because how you think is how you look in your face. Think about it. You're frowning, you're sad, you're depressed. But we, every single day, we decide how we're going to think. Mm. I decide what is the story I'm going to tell to myself, not just from the time you wake up, but all throughout the day. And how we treat one another, let's think about it. We've got to have love and respect for other human beings. And the more that you start programming your thoughts, you may wake up and go, oh, I just don't feel good, I'm tired and everything. But what is that going to do? That's going to tell your cells negative things. Happy thoughts make happy chemicals. So we all have got to every single day, wake up, we're happy no matter how we feel, we feel great, we're happy to be alive, and we're happy to help someone in the world. Great advice, practice that attitude of gratitude first thing in the morning can help take 10 years off your life. Number two, get better sleep. Why is sleep so important for anti-aging? Right, sleep. Lord, people are not sleeping today. Because ever since Edison invented electricity, we have not been sleeping. And what does sleep do? Sleep is magic. Sleep is medicine. Do you know you're supposed to sleep probably eight to nine hours of sleep? And why? Because that's when detox takes place. That's when healing takes place. That's when your immune system is taking care of unwanted things in your body. It's where your mind is all repaired for the next day to charge and work and be productive human beings. So you've got to get a good night's sleep. The magic that happens in sleep is unbelievable. So do whatever you have to do to get a good night's sleep, but not with sleeping pills. Sleeping pills <laughs> will depress your immunity and increase your risk for dying. So, but there are lots of different natural ailments to help you sleep. But please make that your number one priority after your positive mental attitude. I love it. Great advice here. A few people are giving their doctors of uh, 
of Natural Medicine a shout out, and they're doctors of integrative medicine. Rusty Farrell wants to give a shout out to Dr. Mary Travers in Austin, uh, Austin, Texas. And uh, let's see, we've got a few more here as well. Aaron Cochran is giving a shout out to their doctor, Dr. Wonder in Rockville, Maryland. Great stuff, guys. All right, number three here, um, hydration is key to anti-aging. Why is that? Yes, hydration, because we were born 90% water when we were born, and now we're about 75% water. So that means that every single one of our cells bathe in this beautiful fluid of water. And when you drink water, make sure that you're drinking purified, mm. alkaline, energized water, because that is what your cells are all gonna bathe in, your digestive system, your brain. Every single organ in your body will not work if you are not properly hydrated. And we are not drinking enough water. When you wake up, the first thing you need to do, you were fasting for eight to nine hours, think about it. The first thing you need to do is drink 20 ounces of water to get the whole engine of your body working. Great advice, sir. Number four, foods for cellular function. What are maybe three to five of your favorite foods to support cellular function? Well, my favorite foods, probably my single category of food is fats. Fats are energy. They make you, they make you have fuel. They actually, you know, people think that every, all women are struggling with their weight and they think, oh, if they eat fat, they're going to be fat, but fat makes you thin. Uh, so good fats though, nature produced fats like coconut oil and olive oil and avocados mm. and good nuts. Then the other thing is you've got to eat the vegetables. I mean, some of the top vegetables, the broccoli family, so mm. cruciferous family. So that would be broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and cabbage. The other things that are amazing fighters, just garlic, lots of garlic. And now they have raw mm. garlic in spreads. They have raw garlic. I mean, you, it's amazing. Or in, let's say you don't want to eat garlic. You can take garlic. You can take garlic pills. Onions. Onions have so many fighting nutrients. A lot of the spices, turmeric is one of the big, wonderful uh, spices that we can make with coconut. We can put it on any, you can put it on your eggs in the morning. So there's um, lots of foods that have amazing power. Love it. All right, number five here, and uh, we're getting some great comments here. Nancy says, first thing in the morning, H2O. And uh, Barbie Siebold gives a shout out to their doctor. Uh, who practices integrative medicine, Dr. Corwin Petty in Lowell, Arkansas. Our number five here, talk about the power of exercise. Exercise, you've got to move. You've got to move every day. It's not like you have to go run marathon or be an Ironman, but you've got to move your body. You have 800 muscles because your body has to get toxins out of the body. You've got to sweat because sweating is a way of detoxification. You've got to increase the endorphins in your uh, brain with exercise. And then exercise also allows us to relax and be mindful of our body. Mm -hmm. So exercise is just a powerful, and even if you only have a fast, intense 20 minutes, it's amazing what it'll do to the metabolism and the cellular regeneration of our body. Great advice. All right, number six, detoxification. Detox. Okay, gosh, everybody looks at that word detox and they go, oh my God, they get scared. And I'm like, no, detox is not scary. It's one of the, probably the single most important thing that you can do. And any form of detox is good. And if you want to do relaxing things like infrared sauna, you can detox. But first of all, you've got to stop the ingestions of toxins mm. in the air that we breathe, the water we drink, and the foods that we eat. So that means we've got to really embrace the farmers that are making organic foods and foods that they care about, how it's the outcome of them. And then you've got to drink water that's purifying. You've got to drink water that has been purified. No matter what you do, invest in a water purification system because every single one of your cells is bathing in this water. And then there's simple little detox things that you can do. You can do, as I said, infrared sauna, baths with Epsom salts, baking soda, and clay. You can do a lymphatic drainer by just jumping on a rebounder. You can do skin brushing. It costs nothing. You can do that in the comfort of your home. So these are things that you can easily do. They take they really don't take that long because now you can multitask everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good stuff. Well, let's specifically talk about liver detoxification or liver cleansing. What are some of your favorite, let's say, maybe foods and herbs or protocols that really support the liver, liver detox? Right. Well, there's a cup, cup, liver. Why do we want to clean out our liver? Our liver sits right up here. It's a beautiful organ with a beautiful capsule, and it is our filter organ. 
And now it's amazing how many people, people come in for abdominal bloating and I do an abdominal ultrasound and what do they have? They have fatty liver. That means they're, they're not even drinking alcohol and they have fatty liver. That's because we're bombarded with a myriad of toxins and overloading our liver. Mm. You can't even think straight. You get cloudy, foggy thinking if your liver is toxic. So one of the things I tell people is I have a CBC cocktail, carrot, beet, cucumber, and then I add garlic. If patients don't want to do a liver cleanse, I have them do that little drink. Yeah. Carrot, beet, cucumbers with garlic. Blend it all in and, and drink it. The other thing that I have patients do is to do an oral liver cleanse. You start on a Friday night, you start drinking Epsom salts, vitamin C, and then right before you go to bed, you do organic grapefruit juice with olive oil. Then you wake up and follow that Epsom salt and vitamin C, and you're done by nine. So that means it's not some complicated week-long thing. And then some of the foods that you can eat. Okay, radishes are powerfully detoxifying. Oh, yeah. Very, very, people don't realize how powerful uh, radishes are in detoxifying. You can just snack on those in the day. The other liver cleanse is a coffee enema. It's very actually becoming extremely popular now. Every single one of my staff is doing coffee enemas because one started and they all said how incredible they feel. And I have patients that say, okay, okay, I'll do it. And then they put it off for months and then they finally decide, they see their kit and they go, oh gosh, I'm going to do that coffee enema. And you wouldn't believe the people come back, Dr. Keely, I'm addicted to this coffee enema. I feel so much better. So you've got to love your liver and detoxify it. Love it. Great advice. Number eight here, balancing hormones for anti-aging. Well, right, because you have to have hormones in order to live. Hormones are the drugs of our body, believe mm -hmm. it. They're, they're natural drugs to your body. But now almost everyone today has hormone problems. Why? Because we're living in a chemical-laden, stressed environment, and we don't have as nature tended to be. So we've got to go to a doctor who looks at the panoramic view of our body, looking at our kidney, our liver, our blood sugar, our vitamin levels, and our hormone levels. And because our hormones, because they dictate to the cell what to do, and they turn it off depending on what to do. So if you're thyroid, you're going to feel tired and sluggish, and you're going to be a little swollen in your body, and you may put on weight really easy, so you got to fix that. If you have high sugar, you also, you're going to have a bloated barrel around your tummy. If you have low adrenals, oh my God, you can't even get through the day. You wake up exhausted, and you're feeling tired, and you can't get through the day, and you're very emotional. And then if you don't have your female hormones, your estrogen, progesterone, that, you, you know, your brain is like feels like cotton between the ears, and you have aches and pains all over the body, and if you have low progesterone, then you have thyroid hormones, your circulation is good, your mood is not as good, and then if you don't have testosterone, whether it's male or female, you will, you, people think testosterone, muscle building and all that kind of stuff, but no, testosterone helps your state of mind, your mm -hmm. sense of well-being. It helps your energy, it helps your muscles, it helps your immune system, helps your blood sugar. So uh, all these things that people just underestimate the power, and but you gotta check them all. Then there's pregnenolone. Pregnenolone people don't even heard of, but pregnenolone is your memory hormone, and it's the hormone that cascades into lots of other hormones. And so I'm seeing 20 year olds, 25 year olds, 30 year old, very young people who should have optimal hormones have hormone imbalances. Yeah, hormones are key as Dr. Keneally is talking about, you know, getting more healthy fats, working on reducing stress, getting out and exercising, some key tips there. Number nine, hyaluronic acid for anti-aging. Talk about this. Yes, hyaluronic acid is, is depleted as we age. And so hyaluronic acid helps plump up the skin, the eyes, the joints, everything in your body. And you start drinking it and or you have to drink it because you're, all of your cells need this stuff. Yes, you can put on topical things, but you want to always nourish the body from the inside out. Yeah, so what food is highest in hyaluronic acid that you recommend? Oh, I don't, don't even really know. Do yeah. you know? I don't really I, I know. I think bone broth, so. Bone broth, well, bone broth, yeah, There maybe. you go. So bone, bone, broth. Bo bone broth, animal skins, things like that. So hyaluronic acid, drink your bone broth. I did a bone yeah. broth smoothie this morning with some bone broth uh, powdered uh, protein. It was great. Number 10, topical vitamin C. Yeah, well, topical vitamin C, because. Let's face it, all you girls out there and women out there, we're all concerned about every single little wrinkle that comes on our face. I have a 22-year-old and she's like, mom, I'm starting to get wrinkles under my eyes because we stopped the production of collagen at the age of 21. And so yes, like I said before, all those things I said before help the skin 
But topical vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. It's a powerful rejuvenated for everything, detoxifier of the body, uh, microorganisms, and it actually rejuvenates the skin. So it's, it is amazing. And you want to try Great to advice. use vitamin C, everything you try to do, you want to try to do it as close to nature as possible. Love it. Great advice here. So remember these 10 tips. Number one, have a positive mental attitude. Number two, get better quality sleep. Number three, hydrate your body. Number four, eat more foods that support cellular function. As Dr. Keneally talked about, fats like avocados, you know, lots of coconut oil, the healthy fats, and lots of those cruciferous green vegetables, exercise, getting out of move, detox, liver cleanse. Remember her juice she talked about, the CBC, the seller, uh, the uh, no, the carrot cucumber, beet. carrot, and beets was great. Balance your hormones. Use hyaluronic acid. Get that from bone broth number, uh, and then topical vitamin C for your skin. And then check out her book. This book is incredible. It's called The Cancer Revolution. You can check out this book and more information on Dr. Keneally on her website, KeneallyMD.com, or you can find her book on Amazon. Simply go to Amazon.com and check out The Cancer Revolution. It's a groundbreaking program and book that goes over how to reverse and prevent cancer there in her book. Well, Dr. Keneally, I want to say thanks for being part of the program today. I want to thank you guys for sharing this video. Again, hey, if you haven't done this yet, help us spread the message of how to age slower Take a minute, punch that share button, click that like button as well. And if you're not subscribed here to our Facebook Live and our YouTube Live channels, make sure you subscribe to those as well and check us out on Instagram. So guys, this has been Dr. Lee Aaron Keneally, myself, Dr. Josh Axe, and hope you've enjoyed these top 10 tips to age more slowly.